Hello, my name is Chris Basari. You're watching Bobcat TV. Enjoy the show. Brandon is this little electron, and his and he's the atom that gives off a white light. And he's going to jump up with a quantum energy onto this energy level from the ground state off the ground to an excited state. So you can jump back, jump onto that. So now Brandon is an excited state. That's weak. It's, it's a small energy. Level. Now that Brandon is excited, the atom wants to go. The atom goes back to a ground state, and when it goes back down it's going to release its white protons. So jump back down to your ground state and release some protons into the last one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you only need support in the chemistry program because a lot of the students that have completed um, earth science and living environment took the Regents exam and were quite successful because they just excelled in the course and the course mm -hmm. was a little different than chemistry in its rigor and its um, 
course requirements. And the Regents exam has sort of a different structure in that it doesn't report the Rohr score. There's a conversion scale. So when students move on to chemistry, some of the students have a little bit more um, difficulty, you know, experiencing success on some of the high stakes exams. So we noticed a need for another layer of support in addition to what the teachers um, can, can offer the students. Can you talk about what the responsibilities and the, the role of the teaching assistants are? It is modeled after that. Um, I think one of the, the good things about this is it, it kind of has more of an intimate component to it in that you know these students are in a high school atmosphere which definitely is different than college and these students are their peers and there is a, a unique relationship that develops in the classroom when these students are able to work with one another and, and peer tutor. Mr. Basari, can you talk about that student's role as a leader at the high school and how it connects to the other leadership opportunities that we have for students? Well, I think that, you know, one of the, uh, our, our goals at Byram Hills, obviously the academic preparation for our kids, but as they head off into, uh, you know, their post-secondary and real-world life, is to develop them as leaders. And, uh, you know, we constantly talk to our kids as they move through their four years with us about their role as leaders, whether they're uh, identified leader, like a peer leader or a mentor, or they're on the, um, uh, athletic leadership team or any of those sort of things and their leadership just by nature of where they stand within the community the school community it's as being a senior or junior or sophomore or a freshman uh, and this is an interesting case because it's really an academic leadership group um, who've taken on a responsibility uh, and embraced a responsibility um, to help educate their peers uh, and it's an incredible uh, it's an incredible exercise to watch the dynamic between our TAs and the students they work with and our TAs and the teachers who they work with. With a limited number of periods in a day, um, how do these students fit it in their schedule and what's the incentive for, for a student to be a teaching assistant? It was interesting when we first started talking about this and it, it all originated from the idea that we were noticing uh, kids struggling, not all the kids, but a percentage of kids struggling in chemistry mm -hmm. um, and trying to figure out what is a way we could support them here at school. So it was always clear to me when we first started talking about it with Deb and with Steve that uh, there would be a, a very clear benefit for the chemist, Regents chemistry kids. Mm -hmm. That was a, an easy sell for me. Mm -hmm. But my question was, well, what are these um, kids, these seniors who would be the TAs, what's the benefit for them? We had some ideas about what that would be. The feedback we've gotten from those kids who've been in the pro who are in the program currently and who have graduated from the program is that it's been one of the most valuable learning experiences that they've ever had, that they had to develop a knowledge of the content area that they never, they knew they knew the content, but being able to take that content and the pro procedures and the mm -hmm. skills and uh, relay that to their peers and not their peers who are necessarily picking it up readily, those who are struggling, was a challenge for them. Because some of them, they picked it up very quickly. Um, they also found that when they were going on their college interviews and writing their college essays, that they could really, really write about something that was truly meaningful to them. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me, Mr. Basari and Mrs. K. I appreciate it. Thank you. And I look forward to hearing more about this program. Mr. Lichten and Mr. Borneman, thank you for joining me today and taking the time to meet with me. How do you work with the TAs to prepare them for all those different responsibilities? You have to be um, what we would call a high school expert in chemistry. You had to have even, either um, taken AP chemistry and have been successful, or you have to be entering AP chemistry and have gotten a 96 or higher on the Regents exam. Um, so. You come in with a, a pretty solid chemistry background, so you have the content behind you. Um, then what we do is we, we sort of have them in the first couple of weeks um, just observe us teaching, sort of how a student teacher would observe their lead teacher. And they watch us and they see how we teach, and then we slowly put them into the role of teaching. Now, as for being prepared for any set day, you know, we give them challenges. We send them home saying, you know, tomorrow why don't you have some kind of a demonstration that demonstrates the concepts that we did today. They come in, and the next day they'll start off the class the first 10 minutes with a nice demonstration or something like that. Just last week I asked Eric and Brad, I said, could you guys make a little power plan 
for a nuclear reactor, fission reactor, you know, 10, 15 minute discussion how basic power plant operates and works. Mm -hmm. So they go and they'll come up with their little presentation and they'll email it to me and I can review, see what the, this part I like, take this out, add this. So, you know, we do a little back and forth and then they'll come in and actually present it. Uh, you know, Brad and Eric also did this, you know, exploding pumpkin demonstration. And that required a lot of time, like after school, they had to come in, we had to set it up and <coughs> practice it just to get it right. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes, I guess, before they actually get up there in front of the kids. Right. How are you enjoying working with the teaching assistants and working in the context of this program? The best ways to learn is to teach. So that's, you know, the TAs are getting that experience of being able to teach the subject. And it puts, you know, by reflecting on the subject while you teach it, you put a lot of pieces together. And just seeing how they can put the chemistry together a little differently as they're teaching it is amazing. Um, not only that, but seeing the response from the struggling students is also amazing. I mean, they they have a lot of, the TAs have a lot of pride in their chemis. That's what they call them, their little chemis. So they go around and they have a lot of pride in them and they, you know, they take care of them. They make sure they're doing well before a test. You know, I mean, just seeing that pride of responsibility is great. Um, and then watching, you know, the, the, uh, the actual students, you know, and, and their pride in their own TA and seeing how much they like them and enjoy them working with them and stuff. It's, you know, it's a great experience. That's why we do it. I love co-teaching because it puts a spotlight maybe on someone else for a minute, which then lets me observe the class, see what's happening, and then I get that thought of j jumping in to something they said, um, and vice versa. So I, I just love co-teaching anytime. I think it is always going to be more beneficial. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so exciting to hear you talk about the pride uh, in this program and the pride the students have in helping the chemis. You've created a, a terrific program, and thank you for your time. Thanks for talking to me. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. They helped me because when my teacher wasn't available, I was, they were available for me and they were sort of similar to who I am because they're similar in age and I could sort of talk to them on a personal level like saying I'm struggling and stuff like that. With a teacher, I don't really want to say I'm struggling because he's teaching the course so he might think it's his fault. But with a chem TA, I can sort of like have a connection and they could actually help me and they could help me do better in the class. All the TAs came together and on like Saturdays and Sunday mornings they would have review sessions at the library and they'd make us packets and then give it to us like during class and then if you got the packet done they'd go over the answers and the ones you got wrong. So, When the teachers weren't available to help me I could always go to the, the TAs and they would always be there and be able to help me with the questions that I had. I really think it saved me and a lot of other people in chemistry um, to have that extra set of hands. We were able to break up into smaller groups because we had an extra set of hands. Um, so it was just, it was really, really helpful. Yeah. You know, when I've done collaborative work in college so far, I have been much more open-minded to the way people approach problems. And you have to really think about, you know, five, six, seven ways of how someone would approach a chemistry problem in our program. learn a lot by teaching other people. Just by explaining things out loud, you really know the information so much more in depth, and you realize that people think about things in different ways. 